Hello, everybody. Happy Halloween from Connect English. Uh, I'm here to give you another free pronunciation class today, but I can't wear the mask very much. It is hard to breathe in that max mask. Okay. Hello, everybody around the world, and uh, welcome to another free live pronunciation class with Connect English. We have a lot of excellent uh, vocabulary to work on today, and the pronunciation of which is really important for helping you and helping our students speak clearly in English. Uh, we have three excellent students in the class today. We have uh, Yuki from Japan. Yeah. Okay. We have Miki from Japan. Yeah. And, uh, and Jung from Korea. Yes. Okay, excellent. And then I'm Nick, I'm from California. If you're watching the uh, class from around the world, uh, please type in the comments. Uh, say, uh, hi from Seattle, Washington. Uh, hi from uh, Monterrey, Mexico. Hi from uh, Cape Town, South Africa. A lot of South Africans watched last week. That was pretty cool. And also, of course, we like to tell students Share the class. Share it. Okay, it's a free class. Click the share button. Tell your friends about the class. It's totally free and it's an excellent way to uh, help the whole world speak English better, which is our goal here at Connect English. So, uh, again, type your name in the comments. Share the class and let's give a high world. Are you all, you all ready to say it? All right, one, two, three. Hi, Hi world. world! Okay, so uh, thank you for watching today, and let's get started with the vocabulary mm, before we do. Two rules in my pronunciation class. Rule number one is what? What is rule number one? Cross the arms. Yeah, so don't cross your arms. That's because I want my students to uh, be loose and be ready to feel the good pronunciation. When you feel the pronunciation, you will speak it more clearly, okay? so. It's important to focus not as much on what you hear, but more on what you feel. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> and if you think about where your tongue is, or the shape of your lips, or the pressure in your stomach, the sound in your throat, that's going to help you say the sounds more clearly, even if you don't really hear the differences. Okay. So if you're watching and you think, I can't really hear the difference between these, that's okay. Focus on what you feel instead. And with a few weeks of practicing it right, you're going to start hearing it too. Okay? All right. Well, let's get started today. Oh, rule number two in my pronunciation class is don't worry about mistakes. Everybody's going to make some mistakes in the class. I have intentionally chosen some difficult words because I want to push you, to challenge you to learn the hard stuff. And I have some more advanced vocabulary up here today as well. All right, let's start. Why did I choose these 10 words, ladies? Why these 10? Because of similar sound. That's right. You got it. So they're close. They're not exactly the same, but a small difference in the sound makes a big difference in what the words mean. And if you say them wrong, uh, if you make a mistake with them, you're going to cause some confusion. People you're talking to are going to go, what? What was she saying? What did he say? He said, chide? I saw a chide at the park? Oh, what does that mean? Or, I went to school today? Okay, no, I went to school today. So we have to work on the little differences. These are called minimal pairs, which means there is a small difference in sound, but a big difference in what they mean. So, let's start with the first one here. Uh, did all three of you play with these when you were children? Yes. Yeah, I think they're the, one of the most popular toys for children. These are blocks, okay? Also, when you live in one neighborhood, you say, oh, the supermarket is three blocks that direction, okay? So, this is a pretty common one, and so is this, but let's talk about the difference in pronunciation. For this one, everybody please put up one finger, just one, okay? And touch right here. This one is ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. y'all sound great. Good job. Block. Ah. Block. Really good. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. But this one, of course, is the color. It's the color of the tables in this classroom. It's the color of my belt. Okay. Put up two fingers for this one and touch here. Not the back middle, but the back sides. Ah, ah, ah. ah, ah, ah. Yeah. You three sound great. This one is black. Black. Really good. And now do this one block. Block. And then again, black. Black. Really good. Do you feel the difference between black and block? 
Can you feel the ah uh, ah uh, of the yeah, difference? Totally. Yeah, ah 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 and ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Okay, so focus on where the sound is coming from. That's important. A lot of students want to do the. Uh, they say, oh, I wore a block shirt today. A block shirt today? Maybe it was a shirt that had pictures of blocks on it. I don't know. No, oh, you wore a black shirt today. Okay. In in British English, this and this sound much more similar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I sat at the block table, okay, but we don't really say it that way in English. This is more of an American English sound, the ah, 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 like Saturday, and laugh, and half, and black, okay? So one more time as a class, let's do it, one, two, three, black. Black. Uh-huh, and one, two, three, block. Block. Really good job, okay? Try it at home. Use your fingers if you're watching on your computer or even on your phone. Touch your throat in the right places. We have ah, 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 and ah, 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 okay? All right, the next one's a little bit more advanced, but I think everybody around the world will understand. This one is very similar to block, okay, in terms of the sound, but this is the material of your shirt, okay? Are you wearing cotton today? John, are you wearing a cotton shirt, or is it a different material? Maybe Maybe cotton. Mine is cotton, and Yuki, I think yours is cotton. It's a nice, Maybe. comfortable t-shirt, okay? Yeah. And then, Miki, I think your jacket is also yeah. cotton, okay? Yeah, cotton. So it's one of the most popular materials for clothing. Also for the sheets on your bed, okay? A lot of things are made of cotton. And that one is just the, again, single finger. Let's touch right here. Ah, 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 cotton. Cotton. Yeah, and we're working on this sound, so good job. You three sound perfect. This one, though, is more difficult, the sound, and of course, it's a less common word. This is the thing that covers your windows, okay, to make your windows dark. You don't want any more sunshine coming in, so you're going to close the curtain, okay, the curtain. And you can see I put a picture up here. You're going to undo it and pull it over to cover the windows. For this one, we practiced it a little bit last week. I need you to think about your lips, okay, and this one is, and you're already doing it, you keep good job. <laughs> this one is... I want your lips to be forward and open. So I'll show the camera here. This one is er, er, er. Okay, so your lips are open and forward. Er, 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 er. Early curtain, okay? John, can you give it a try for me? <laughs> You're laughing right now. We'll come back, okay? Uh, Mickey, try it for me first. Give me curtain. Curtain. Yes, now push your lips forward more. Er. Oh. That's it. Good job. <laughs> forward and open. Not ooh, but er. Oh. That's it. Good job. And say it for me, curtain. Curtain. That's good. Good job. A lot of students, when they do the er, er, er sound, they do oo or they do ah, mm -hmm. ah, like a smile. And that's more like this sound. So we have to be careful about the shape of our lips. It's forward and open er. That's it, Mickey. That looks great. You can give it a try. Give me curtain. Curtain. Really good. <laughs> and you are so good. Great. It's really good. You're doing such a good job of feeling and thinking about the sound. Er, 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 er. Okay. Don't give it a try. Now give me curtain. Curtain. Really good job. Now here's what I want us to do now. Everybody, please get your phone out. Normally at Connect English, we say put away your phone. Put it on selfie camera. Okay. Put it on selfie camera because I really want us to look at the shape of our mouths for this one. Okay. So get your selfie camera ready. <clears throat> And let's start with the easy one. This one is just ah, ah, ah. So your mouth is open, ah. Oh. Cotton is soft, ah, oh. ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you, you're doing it perfectly. I like how Mickey's phone is in the bottom of her back <laughs> because at school she doesn't use her phone. She's a good student, so that's great, okay? So this is ah, 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 cotton. And look at the shape of your mouth for that, ah. Oh. It's just open like... Ah, oh, when you get in the shower after the gym or the shower after a long day, or when you're yawning, right? You almost. Oh. 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 I wonder how many people around the world are yawning right now oh, because of us, okay? That's pretty funny. Oh. Oh. Okay, but this one is the one that takes more effort, more energy. It's a new sound for a lot of students. So, again, look at the selfie camera, but remember, we want your lips forward and open. Err. 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 Yeah, so look at that shape of your mouth. Err. Early. First. Curtain. Open the curtains early. Err. 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 
Yeah, and you got to make a good job. Push the lips forward and open. Err, and jump try from good. And Yuki, great job. Err, err, err. Curtain. Curtain. Err. Okay, so again, if you're watching at home, it's lips are forward and open. Err. Curtains. Okay? Good job, everybody at home. Okay, let's do it as a class. Ladies, you're having so much fun. I love it. Okay, let's do the easy one. Single finger here. Ah, ah, ah. Cotton. Cotton. Yeah, and now lips forward and open. Curtain. Curtain. You all sound so good. Really good. That's a difficult sound for most people who speak East Asian languages. Japanese, Korean, Mandarin, even Vietnamese folks, Thai folks have difficulty with the er, er, er sound. So really good work, okay? Okay, the next one is important for Halloween, okay? That's why a student recently asked me if I could do this word in class. A student who was watching on Facebook said, could you please do these two words? Because he said he was confused a little about them. This one is pretty easy, I think. And this one is the kissing motion. Ooh, school. School. Ooh, yeah, and again, take a look at that selfie camera, or you just have a mirror right there, Yuki. Good job. <laughs> ooh, 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 that school is cool. School. That's what people say about Connect English all the time. Ooh, that's a cool school. Ooh, okay. Ooh, cool school. Cool school. Yeah, people say that about Connect so much. Yeah, okay. Uh, but this one, okay, is the bones inside of our head, right? And we see this very frequently for Halloween. I need you to put your phone down now, okay, and just get ready. Put up the fist, okay? Y'all remember from last week, okay, this one is, uh, skull! <laughs> skull! <laughs> yeah, you keep so good. I mean, you can give it a try. Skull! Skull! Yeah, don't hurt yourself, okay? <laughs> good job. Skull! Very skull. good. Yeah, and John, give it a try. Skull! Skull! Yeah! Uh, it hurts my skull! skull! Oh my gosh, country music hurts my skull, okay? Skull. I hear that, down, 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 country music, I don't like it, okay? It hurts my skull. Uh, yeah. ooh, I need aspirin, okay? Skull. Uh, skull. Skull. skull! Yeah, you gotta feel that pressure. And again, we talked about it last week. A little bit of pressure makes a big difference. Many students don't give any pressure. They say skull or skull, school or school or something. And it's all from up here. And that is not the right pronunciation. You need some pressure. Skull. 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 Yeah, that's it. So we've already practiced the super pressure, okay? Mm -hmm. But a little pressure is enough. Skull. 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 That's it. Uh, just a little. Skull. And it takes some practice because this sound doesn't exist in Japanese nor in Korean, right? There is no uh sound. So it just takes a practice. Skull. Skull. Uh, skull. skull. It's fun. Skull. It's fun to talk about skulls. Uh, a little bit of pressure, okay? And frequently I see some students' head move when they do it because it means they're feeling the sound. Good job. Skull. Skull. Okay. A skull. Okay. And then back to the easy one. School. School. Good. You're all doing a great job with that. Okay. This next one is some pretty advanced vocabulary. This is really technical. But let's start with this one here first, okay? This one's good for Brazilians. This is a hard one for Brazilians to say. Brazilians, when they say this word, they frequently accidentally say this one, okay? So I'm going to put this on the board. This one is like uh, C-H-Y or C-H-I and then old, okay? Child, okay? Child. It rhymes with wild, okay? It's best to do it as two syllables. One and two, okay? Two syllables, child, okay? Which is a young person, a young human, okay? Uh, I take my child to school every day before I go to work, okay? Child, okay? So pronounce it with me, make you give it a try. I'm sorry, you, you can give it a try, give me child. Child. Really good. And Jung, your turn for child. Child. Good, okay? And now make it your turn, child. Child. Good. Now this one is a more advanced term, okay? This is a term for when you get mad at somebody about a mistake that they made, okay? This one is to, to chide. Chide. It's like, and I'm like, Jung, put your phone away, okay? Put your phone away. Focus on the class. Okay, that's to chide someone. So a teacher would frequently chide a student. A boss might chide an employee who makes a mistake at work. Say, I told you to turn in the report yesterday. Okay, that's to chide, okay? Ah! Oh! Okay, that was a big mistake. Fix those mistakes. You're so stupid. Okay, that's to chide someone. Okay, 
And many Brazilians have difficulty with saying this one. They say, oh, I took my child to school. Took mm-hmm. my child to school? Oh, you took your child, child. to school. Okay. Child. child. So if you're watching, if you're a Brazilian or a Portuguese speaker, or if you have other difficulty with this from another language, just remember, slow it down. Two syllables. Child. Child. Do it as two syllables. You'll be much more clear and you'll cause a lot less confusion when you speak. So let's practice this as a class. Let's start with the easy one, and I'm going to put the, the line here. This is just one syllable. This one is chai. Give it a try, everybody, all together. One, two, three. Chai. Yeah, easy. Now, two syllables. Slow it down, ladies. Give me two syllables. Chai old. Chai old. Really good. You three sound perfect with this one, so really good job. Slow it way down, okay? All right. The next one we're going to do is a similar sound that we tried last week. Um, this is to rob somebody or to take something from them. It's like, oh, hey, Yuki, what's that over there? Oh, my God. oh and I just <laughs> I used it as an opportunity to steal her pencil bag, okay? To steal, okay? Which means to take without permission, okay? To steal it, to take it away from someone without that person's permission. This one's pretty easy. I'm going to put my pen down for this one. We're going to use our phone again in a moment. But for this one, think about your front teeth right here, like this, okay? You did this last week. You did a great job, okay? Think about the top of your mouth up here, and think about your tongue. Uh, your tongue is high in your mouth. This one is e e e steal. Steal. Yeah, like oh, don't steal my cookies. I want to eat those. Don't steal my money. I need to buy Christmas presents. E e e. Okay. So think about the top of your mouth. Think about your tongue, there's just a little bit of air, just a little, not a lot of air, just a little bit of it, okay, steal my cookies, don't steal my girlfriend, okay, I love her, okay, now this one here is two things, usually this one is like when something's not moving, okay, but also it means continuing, okay, my house is still too hot inside, okay. It means it has, it's not changing at all. It's still the same as before, okay? So I'm still an English teacher after 12 or 13 years of doing this. I'm still a teacher. But as an adjective, it also just means not moving, okay? So this one, the pronunciation, again, think of your teeth right here, okay? Think of the top of your mouth right here, and your tongue. Your tongue is now low in your mouth. Push your tongue down and breathe more. Still. Still. Really good. You three sound so good today. Okay. Get your phone back out. Put it on selfie camera again. Okay. And I want you just to look at the bottom, at, at, the, at your mouth, and look at how you're going to open it and put your tongue down. Still. still. I'm still unhappy about the game. Okay. So let me show the people watching around the world. This one is yeah. uh, 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 still. I'm still married after 50 years, still. It rhymes with will and kill. Uh. So you have to push your tongue down and breathe out a lot, okay? A lot of students say, Nick, I, I don't really hear the difference with this. I don't hear it. And again, that's okay, because the uh, uh, uh sound does not exist in a lot of languages. It does not exist in Japanese, right? And it also, I don't think it exists in Korean, the uh sound. Yeah. yeah, it exists in very few languages. And so a lot of students say, I, I can't hear it, Nick. And that's okay. Focus on pushing your tongue down and breathing out still. Still. Yeah, you three sound so good. John, give it a try, still. Still. Really good. All right, Mickey, your turn, still. Still. Really good. And Yuki, try it, still. Still. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> practicing this word, okay? Still trying, okay? Uh, uh, uh. So just focus on how it feels. Low tongue, breathe out. Still. Yeah. I still can't pay my bill. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's practice them together as a class. Remember, everybody, share the class. Click the share button so that all of your friends around the world can learn some better pronunciation with us. Let's review them all before we do some pronunciation telephone, okay? So, again, put up that one finger, everybody, and touch the middle back of your throat. This one is block. Rock. Really good. And now two fingers up, touch the back, but the sides, black. Black. Great. Okay, this one here, again, ah, 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 same sound, cotton. Cotton. 
Cotton. Really good. Now this one here, this is harder. Push your lips forward and open. Curtain. Cotton. Really good. And then this one here, this is the kissing motion. School. School. Really good. But this one takes more work. Are you ready? Uh, skull. Skull. Yeah. Sounding great. Pressure in your stomach. Okay. This one here, single syllable. This is when you get mad at somebody about a mistake they made. A boss will chide the employees. My, a father will chide his children about forgetting their homework. This one is chide. Chide. Single syllable. Now this one, slow it down, two syllables, child. Child. Really good. Sounding great. This one here, high tongue, steel. Steel. And now low tongue, breathe out, still. Still. Really good. Okay. All right, so here we go. I'm going to give you all a telephone number again. We did this last week, but we used different vocabulary. So now it's a, a new telephone number here. <clears throat> this is the Turkish consulate in Los Angeles. So for our Turkish friends who aren't here today, Tukçe said she couldn't be here today, but she'll be here next time. Okay, so this is going to help our Turkish students speak more clearly. But if they have any difficulty with their passports, they can call this phone number. Okay, this is the Turkish consulate in LA. You ready? Okay. Now again, I'm not going to say the numbers, I'm going to say the words. So if I say cotton, it means put a number two. If I say child, put a number seven, okay? Okay, the Turkish consulate phone number is... <clears throat> curtain. Cotton. Curtain. Skull. Still. Black. Chide. School. Steel. Block. Okay. Mickey, what do you think? Do you, are you feeling pretty good about it? Okay, all right, what's the number? Three, two, three, five, eight, one, six, four, eight, zero. Mm, almost, one difference, so good job. One little difference. Chung, what do you think it is? Uh, three, two, three, mm -hmm. five, nine, one, six, four, eight, oh. Yeah, it was the nine and the eight that were difficult for you, Mickey. So good job with the, all the other ones, okay? I said, uh, I said still. Five nine one, and you got the steel. So that was the low tongue. Eh, eh, eh. I'm still trying. I'm still learning. Yeah, good work though, everybody. Good job, John. Good job, Mickey. You got almost all of them, but this is maybe one of the most difficult ones to learn. So good job though. All right, now who wants to give a telephone number? Who do we have any volunteers who can do a good telephone number? Yuki, go. Yuki? Okay, thanks, Yuki. <laughs> All right, any phone number. It can be your phone number in San Diego. It can be your phone number back in Japan. It can be mom or dad's phone number at work. It can be anything like that. Remember to speak it loudly, slowly, and clearly. Okay? Okay. Okay. Block. Stem. Block. Curtain. Super good. Okay, there was one that was a little close, but I think they did a really good job. Okay, Mickey, what did you hear? Zero, nine, zero, three, five, two, three, two, seven, one, zero. That's yeah. what I have also. All right, good job. On the final two, in the twos and threes, there was one that was a little close, but you did a good job. You said cotton. I was afraid that you were trying to say curtain, but no, you were saying cotton, so you did it right. Good job. All right. <laughs> All right. One more phone number. I think let's go with Jung. Got to do it. Okay. Jung, you can give us your phone number in the USA. You can give us 
mom or dad's cell phone number, you can give us your, your brother's phone number, any number that you want. Just make it loud and clear for us, okay? Okay. Okay. Block. Black. Block. Still. Child. Yeah. Block. Block. Skull. Block. School. School. Complete? Yes. Nice job. Okay. All right. I heard a lot of zeros in there. I hope there are a lot of zeros. We'll work on it together. <laughs> well, let me try first. I have 010-970-0500. Zero, 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 four, four. Yeah, correct. Great. <laughs> All right. I was afraid you were having some difficulty with block and yes. black, but there are truly just a lot of zeros in the phone number. Woo. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Well, we're going to finish with pronunciation telephone today. We have another activity that we'll do with the group that's here in San Diego. But let's do our traditional uh, celebration or our congratulations ceremony here. I'd like you to put your arm out in front of you like this. Oh, everybody's waving. Put your arm out in front of you, everybody. Just one. Turn your hand and pat yourself on the back. Oh, you did a good job. All right, so can we get a bye world from everybody? One, two, three. Bye world. Bye world. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. We do the free pronunciation class every week on Wednesdays at Connect English. You can always watch it on Facebook Live video. It's just a free opportunity to learn to speak English even better. Uh, again, remember to share it with your friends. It's a totally free opportunity to learn. We just want the whole world to speak English better. If you want to come to California and learn English with us here at our schools, uh, go to our website, connectenglish.edu. And... Happy, oh, <laughs> happy Halloween, everybody. I hope that everybody around the world tries a little bit of Halloween celebration this year. It's a lot of fun. Just dress up and be a little bit crazy on Halloween. It's our favorite holiday here in the USA and especially here at Connect English. So thank you again for watching and happy Halloween. We'll see you on Wednesday, November 1st with our next class. Have a great day.